Hey everybody, Vanessa Wheeler here again with Premier Guitar. Before we do anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Today I'm really excited to share with you an all new delay and modulation pedal that brings to mind the very essence and best of the original Deluxe Memory Man. And that is in large part because it's co-designed with the original designer, Howard Davis. It is the Clockwork Echo by J Rocket Designs. Let's dig in. Let's take a look at these control features. The mix knob, use this to blend your dry signal with your wet signal. The wetter the mix, the more apparent all functions are. Use this to control the pedal's output level. This function works even if the delay is not engaged, giving you a very nice push. The delay will always stay relative to the volume output, so you will not have an out of balance mix between the two. Use time to control the delay time for almost imperceptible, which creates chorus and Leslie sounds, all the way to 60 milliseconds of delay for the long, lush sounds. Repeats. Use this to control the amount of repeats. Go from one repeat all the way to crazy oscillation. Modulation. You can find some amazing chorus sounds, Leslie sounds, and a bunch of craziness in between. They made this feature foot switchable so you can bring it in on the fly and take it out just as fast. The speed knob controls the speed of the vibrato and depth controls the vibrato depth. We have a standard guitar input and stereo outputs. The delayed notes are true stereo, not dual mono, so one side is out of phase. This does not affect your dry signal. There are two expression pedal inputs, one to control the repeats and one to control the delay time. And we have our foot switches. On off engages the delay. This knob engages the modulation and tap tempo controls the delay time. A little bit about my signal chain before we get started. I'm playing a Harmony semi-hollow. It's called the Comet and it has two humbuckers. I'm sticking exclusively in the bridge position for today because it just sounds great with this particular pedal. Then I'm plugging into a two notes Torpedo Captor X, into a Benson Amps Vinny Reverb, into a Universal Apollo Twin X interface and into Logic. In this next example, I really wanted to showcase the modulation only. So we're playing with exactly the same settings as the prior example, except there's no delay. And I also have the mix knob turned up so you can almost feel the warm undulation that's happening with the modulation. I think it just sounds exquisite. Let's take a listen. <laughs> next example I want to showcase the way that the pedal can play really lovely delicate delay sounds that are clean and transition pretty seamlessly into something a little bit dirtier and more aggressive. next example, I really just wanted to showcase a very specific, unique effect that happens. In the beginning of the example, I'm playing like a standard um, triplet delay fare, and then about halfway in, I start hitting the input really hard and playing aggressively, and what sounds like an overloaded circuit, but rather than it overtaking the entire sound and creating like a general havoc, it is just kind of affecting the initial attack, and that effect 
sounds like something's being like shredded or ripped apart and it's so gnarly and cool and beautiful and I haven't heard a delay pedal that r does this I mean sure fuzzes and things like that can achieve those sounds but this seems really unique to this pedal and I really love it so let's take a listen to that I really just wanted to showcase the character of the modulation depth. I think it adds a lot of nuance to the different kinds of attacks, like if I'm sliding back and forth in combination with the delay, it really ties those sounds together. And then if you're doing staccato sounds, depending on how you attack it, it blooms differently and decays differently and it feels like you're having a conversation with yourself in a lot of ways. And that's something I really love about delays. <laughs> So it's obviously no secret that I'm a huge fan of the J-Rocket Clockwork Echo, but what I didn't really touch upon is the quality of the preamp. In an era where nostalgia is really important to a lot of creators, uh, this pedal achieves that sound in spades. It is absolutely a nostalgia machine. When I was listening back to my recordings, I was hearing not just my guitar tone and the lovely modulation and delay, but really the sound around the sound, and it clicked with me that this would be not just great for live use, yeah, it's gorgeous, but for recording especially. You put this on anything, synthesizers, guitars, bass, vocals. Wow, I really think that it would elevate anything that you're trying to create. Besides that, it's absolutely built like a tank. I think that you could chuck it at your worst enemy and walk away the victor. It is one of the heaviest pedals I've ever encountered. This thing is, isn't going anywhere for hundreds of years, um, so... With that said, I have been Vanessa Wheeler for Premier Guitar, and I will see you next time.